church of all of us. So if you don't mind me sharing these beautiful things with you. Um, I've had the privilege and the honor of being part of this story for three years. And in that time, we have had, we've seen such huge hearts of people come and go and to be added to our uh, Finding Neverland family. All gone on to beautiful new adventures. And we've experienced love and sickness and grief and life adventures and injury and illness and beautiful moments and huge life transitions and, and love found and, um, and the happiest of joyfulest times. Yet regardless of life's adventures, we always came together against all odds to bring healing and transformation to reflect this story to all of you. And in doing so, we have all of us found our own lives changed and impacted in such a personal and amazing way, haven't we? Love, you don't need anything else, 
And if you don't have it, it doesn't matter much what else you have. And I have to say, this has been an extraordinary experience of love. Love for the story, for these characters, love for communicating it to our audience, love for working tirelessly, creatively, never stopping to get the show right, and love for delivering it to our audiences every night. Now, as our other James, where is he? James Brown. Okay, the other James, our very own James, stand in the show. You think I'm going to my memory for now. But that's not the end. No end ever is just a new beginning. So I know everyone on the stage will go on to a new incredible adventure. Our beautiful show gets to go on a new adventure as it flies across America. And the great thing about Neverland is that it will always be there and we will see each other there. Thank you so much.